Supporters of both Chantel Brown and Nina Turner held dueling rallies with some pretty big names in town today. Whoever wins the special election primary will likely go on to win the general election in this heavily Democratic district. The winner would replace now HUD Secretary Marsha Fudge. Mark Namick shows us the sprint to Tuesday's election. Home in Congress to be is Chantel Brown. The next Congresswoman from the 11th Ohio District is Nina Turner. Cuyahoga County Councilwoman Chantel Brown and former Ohio Senator Nina Turner both have deep party roots here and local policy interests in poverty, gun violence, and health care. But national media attention and millions of dollars of advertising by outside groups have helped exploit their larger ideological differences, making the race a contest between loyalty to President Biden's agenda and the more progressive wing of the party. That narrative on display today. If you know what's good for you, if you know what side your bread brown on, if you know the bridge that got you over, uh, you'll vote for Chantel. Powerful Congressman James Clyburn of South Carolina also in town campaigning for Brown. 900 Turner supporters filled Cleveland's Agora Theater to hear Turner and U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders, whose former presidential campaign was run by Turner. I have known Nina Turner for many years, and I know her to be one of the strongest fighters for justice that I've ever met in my life. As for the us versus them storyline, Turner says it's overblown. It's not fair, but, you know, life is not fair. Congressman John Lewis once said, make good trouble. That's what I'm here to do on behalf of the people who need it the most. Congresswoman Joyce Beatty of Columbus offering a similar message on behalf of Brown. Because she will come with leadership and courage, and she will speak truth to power for the individuals in this community. There are 11 other Democrats on the ballot Tuesday, but polls show it's a close race between Brown and Turner. And given the heavy Democratic makeup of this district, the winner Tuesday will likely be the next representative. I'm Mark Namick, 3 News. Once again, Tuesday is election day in this special primary, but the Cuyahoga County Board of Elections reminds voters that they are open this weekend for early voting from 1 to 5 p.m. tomorrow and Monday, 8 a.m. to 2.